In this tutorial, we want to draw this logo in Inkscape. I'm using Inkscape 1.0. We start by going to File, Document Properties, and then we go to Grades, and then we choose Rectangular Grid, and then we do New. And then for the spacing X, just use 5. The spacing Y, we also use 5. And we enter and then I think this is all that we need for now and then we go for a rectangle and square tool and then draw uh, something like this now I don't want a stroke so you can just go to if you go to shift and then um, press this uh, sign here okay so that's I don't want it now, now we select this and then we do a duplicate by going to edit and then you go to um, duplicates. You can also just do a duplicate by right clicking this and having a duplicate. Now with this duplicate here, we'll bring the duplicates here and we go to object and then go to transform and here go to rotate and we are going to rotate it 45 degrees um, counterclockwise so just do apply if you press this first and then you do apply and then let's give this a different color just for us now enable snapping here and then the snapping we need is we want to um, snap this edge here here. so it's better we go to snap put this on and then put this on snap to caps nose including rectangle corners and then we bring this and place it somewhere here okay so with this selected go to shift and select this and go to path and then do difference now do a duplicate of this you can do a duplicate as well by just right clicking with your mouse and doing duplicate and then move the duplicates i will now um uh, first of all disable the snapping and then move this just a little like this way half not half but just a little to this side and then do another duplicate and move this as well just to this side more or less i think we are good now we do another duplicate of this and then we rotate it 90 degrees you can rotate it through here as well so we place this also somewhere here just a little distance from what we had and this we, we extend it let's extend it a bit um to the right a bit to make it a bit longer you know so you can go over something like this is okay get something like that i think is good okay now what we we this we color this black and then we color this as well black now we um go for our test tool here and then we write both repairs uh, down here. I'm using um, the font I'm using is Sans Serif. You can select it through here. And then I'm using the font size 20. So we write both. Oh, I think I'm using. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. Afterwards, mine changed. M maybe let's see here i prefer it to be 20 okay and then we give it um this red color here or this rather yes this is better oh mm, this this one here okay sorry this red color here fits better to mix and then we first of all place it somewhere here oh, okay first and then let's do this gear here we can generate it by going to um 
I remove the for you to see now. I don't need we don't need the grid A, so we just go to view and then page grid. We remove it now. Let's go to go to extensions and then go to a render and at render go to gear and choose gear the number of teeth leave it to 24 circular pitch uh, 25 press uh, pressure angle 20 and the diameter of center hole make it zero okay and then after uh, you can do a live preview here and then when it comes and you think it's good we do apply okay we close this now we want to ar um, ar um, arrange the things nicely what i did was that uh, let's first see whether this is aligned nicely so you can i go to objects and then go to align and distribute um, if you don't see it here because of the transform, just toggle through again and come here. Now, we select this one here and go to shift and select this and that. And then we want to align it so that first select the width, first to the first selected. We want it and then come here so that they are all, uh, aligned nicely now the next thing i would do is sell uh, select everything go to shift and i just want to select everything here and then go to objects and then i group them now with this selected also go and select this and then i want to let's align this maybe i should have selected a bigger one first but that's the matter I can always change this as well with respect to the last selected we want to um, align it uh, horizontally yes it vertically sorry we want to align it vertically so we use this okay we push it to this side and then we have this one here and then we move it somewhere you can select everything let's put this a bit here you can select everything and go to object group and then that's it thank you for watching please come again and please if you have not subscribed to my channel please do to help me thank you bye